I was invited uh, to attend the victory celebration at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles. And um, Pierre Salinger, who was Robert Kennedy's uh, press secretary, um, I, he knew me because I had done major events for this, the senator. And um, so he said, how would you like to greet the senator as he comes off the, uh, the po you know, off the stage? I said, oh, I would love that. And he said, well, bring him here to the press room. So where, where about you are, is uh, where I was facing the back of uh, of the stage, so I was looking at the back of, of the of the senator, and uh, that way to my right was the Pierre Salinger press room, and I'm supposed to bring him down there, and as he finished his speech, I, I went to greet him, and this tall man, blonde with a, a tuxedo, suddenly took him by the arm and whisked him in the other direction. So with they're now they're heading towards the kitchen. And I'm running after them and saying, no, 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 this is the wrong way. You have to go that way. And But, I, you know, catching up to them behind people. So I was about six to seven feet away from the senator. As he started to move on in the other direction, uh, moving on towards the other press room, I hear pop, pop. And I thought that those were flashbulbs from a camera. In those days, they that's what happened. But as another one came, my, my head automatically went, in that direction where Sirhan Sirhan was on a steel steam table. And I realized that some shots were coming from there, but at the same time, there were shots coming from my right. And, but as I'm looking at Sirhan Sirhan, Rayford Johnson and Rosie Greer um, went towards him and he turned to his left and crouched and, and turned away uh, from them so that they wouldn't you know, be able to tackle him, but they did anyway. Meanwhile, I'm, my attention is now over there where the other shots are coming from very rapid fire, not the way it was pop, pop before. This is pop, 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 pop. I'm using the word pop, but you know what it really sounded like. And so there were about uh, 12 to 14 shots because the rhythm, you can still hear it. And, um, and all of a sudden there's mayhem. People are screaming and, and shouting and I see a man sliding down a wall and, uh, and I'm ducking and people are screaming and, and I'm seeing the, the back of the senator's head and, I, and all of a sudden he's gone and I, I looked down and he was on the floor and I, I screamed, oh my God, no, no. The oh my God, no, no was not just because of that. It was like, oh, not again, not again. Um, how did that affect your life, uh, the whole experience? Well, it holds you emotionally hostage because when, for a while, when I heard a car backfire, you know, you jump and, and um, I could never see any of the videos that they were showing on TV or any movies that came out about it. I just needed to just let that go because not only was a heartbreaking experience, he was an icon and, and all my hopes were dashed about all that he could do for the country. and. And that sight alone is enough to just absolutely devastate you. You never really get over that. It's emblazoned. It's like when say, where were you when John F. Kennedy was shot if you're old enough? And you remember exactly where you were. Well, when something this dramatic and tragic happens, you never forget it. It's emblazoned in your mind. And so that's why I'm able to, to tell you this in such detail. And um, so anyway, the FBI report was all wrong. Uh, 14 statements and even contradicted itself, said uh, things I never said. And then um, it came out that uh, Sir Hans Ryan's trial is on right now. And I understand that from CNN that my, my name was brought up in the trial from the FBI report that said I said eight. And that's what they're fighting for, the prosecution. But the defense lawyer is saying, no, she said there was another shooter. Was it? Sirhan Sirhan shooting and then somebody in response, a bodyguard or a secret service shooting back at him? No, no. Nobody shot at him. Nobody shot at Sirhan Sirhan. They would know nothing like that. Uh, the shots were coming from an, an assassin who killed Senator Kennedy and was gone. Nobody knew who he was. No, no shots were fired at Sirhan Sirhan. Sirhan Sirhan is saying uh, that he was hypnotized to commit this crime, that he was hypnotized and he didn't want to do it. And they were looking for a girl in a polka dot dress and, a, and another gentleman who were running from the scene. Um, 
I, I don't know who they were. I never saw a woman in a polka dot dress. But it came out um, that the senator had powder burns on his neck or his back of his head. There is no way that Sir Ansarhan is there and the senator's here and he's already been tackled. There's no way for him ever to have, I mean, the, I mean, I was there, there is just no way. So what my, the reason I'm being so open about this and, and willing to talk about it so that it can come out and whoever that person was, if they're still alive, to be apprehended and charged for this crime so we can just put it to rest with a just closure.